you for joining us. Uh, good evening and Happy New Year. Happy New Year, sir. Let's dive right in. The 1,343-kilometer-long gauge railway connects the city of Lagos to Kano. Now, near the border with uh, Niger passing through Abuja, what features make this desirable in the economic growth of the country? Oh, oh. Any rail length that we can make to work in Nigeria will act to the economic and commercial development in the country. Uh, Lagos to Kano was in operation before the incident in uh, Kaduna. We had incident on the standard gauge, and we also had uh, an incident near Jaji. As a result, the security advised us to stop operation. But however, we have the advice that we can come gradually. But uh, when the new minister came, he said we should look and uh, find a way of coming back in the first quarter of 2020. And uh, we took it on, and gradually, we, I can say we are coming back. We have moved the, uh, what we call the rig of the passenger train that was uh, left behind after that incident in Kano. As we speak, it's at Oshobo, and we enter Lagos tomorrow. Next week, we will move another set of empty wagons from Kano to Lagos. We are doing that as a means of trying the work we did on the track. Because for almost two years, the track was not in use, and we had a lot of vandalization of the track. Our men went back and replaced them, and in the process, people still come back to vandalize. What we did to move this is that we send what we call a ray bus, a piloting uh, ray, ray bus, to be ahead of the train. And for now, we don't run uh, in the night. We moved it only daytime so that the driver can see properly. So that's what we have done. And we know before the end of February, we will start commercial operation, by God's willing. Now, you've just described the test run, which so far seems to be going well and has also received commendation from people from the towns which the train has passed through. Now, let's talk about the sustainability. You know, with this test run of facilities, uh, what other assurances are there, especially when you resume commercial activities in February? What assurance can you give Nigerians about sustaining the service and maintaining the standard? No, we are going to keep it up. We are talking to our men. And uh, before we did this, we have to train the people on that route all over again. Because if you have not done something for two years, you have to have that refresher call. Both the engineering men, the operation people, the commercial and so that they can key in. So, and uh, we hope we sustain it, not minding the high cost of diesel. And uh, with what we are doing uh, nationwide, we are going to concentrate in ensuring that we have freight to move. Uh, uh, export and import. We have these uh, uh, dollar ports that have been uh, pressing us to come back so that they can use the uh, Elan dry port uh, successful at this plant, and we are collaborating with them. So also with the dry port in Kaduna. So we hope to be moving container both in and out of a papa port. With that, we, I think we will be able to make enough revenue to sustain it. All right, sir. Thank you very much for providing this insight. Thank you very much, sir. It's my pleasure. Thank you. I've been speaking with the MD of NRC, Mike Ohiria, on the Kano Lagos, Lagos Kano standard gauge, 2LL. And now 